this video is going to be a good video. And I hope you really take the time out to, you know what I'm saying, listen to the message. Uh, this video is going to be about semen retention. You know, seed retention. Life force energy retention. Whatever you want to call it. Um, and I just want you to hear me out. Now, uh, seed retention. Just retention in general. Life force. It's needed, bro. It's needed. And, um, it's not about woman attraction on the journey. You know what I'm saying? It's not about you looking for a whole bunch of women to bow down to you so you can feel good about yourself. It's not about that. It's not about looking for the benefits and looking and looking and looking instead of paying attention to yourself internally. Retention is one of the hardest things to do because a lot of people don't pay attention to themselves internally. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people in this world look for outside validation all day. Every single day. You want to be validated by your friends, your family members, your girlfriend. For the woman, you want to be validated by your boyfriend, whatever the case may be. Everybody wants validation from everybody. But what retention does is it teaches you how to truly validate and value yourself without looking for that outside validation. The same way you look for this fulfillment every day from the hit of dopamine that you get from watching these sites. The hit of dopamine that you get from getting a like on Instagram or getting a like, you know, on Facebook or a notification or whatever. You keep looking for this outside source, you're never going to be complete with yourself internally. Now, it's good to motivate people. Don't get me wrong. It's good to inspire people. But you need to be content with yourself. You need to love yourself. Love yourself fully. Because we're living in a world full of, I want to look for the love outside of me. When life don't work like that. Some of us probably ain't get the love from our parents. So we start looking for it from other people. You got to give yourself that love. I watched this video earlier today. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this uh, young lady that I watched on uh, YouTube. And she was spreading a very, very, very positive message. And, um... It's a message that people may need to see. A lot of us don't pay attention to this matrix that we live in. They want you to destroy yourself. Internally. She mentioned in the video that they created cigarettes. And we know that cigarettes destroy, destroy people. You understand what I'm saying? The foods that we eat. They give you a choice if you want to consume it or not. I'm not trying to sit there and make it seem like I'm perfect because I ain't perfect, bro. But they give you a choice. And a lot of us are destroying ourselves by choice. Sometimes you have to take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, how are you helping yourself internally? Now, to piggyback on what I was saying earlier, the outside validation. Some people are destroying themselves for likes, literally. Some people will get their bodies done just to get some type of fulfillment. Now you may have some people out there that's gonna sit there and say, oh, I did it for myself to keep myself happy. That's cool. But if you really kept yourself happy, don't you think that you would be content with yourself? You would love your actual human vessel that the Most High God gave you. You understand what I'm saying? You would actually work out because that's what the temple is for, is to exercise. But yet, people want to do the things that they want to do to destroy themselves in this human experience. 
So you're never really being true to yourself if you're trying to think of something outside of you that's going to make you feel better about yourself. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. But you honestly have to be one with yourself, though. Any any uh, likes that you get on Instagram, any likes that you get on Facebook, things of that nature. Yeah, it's great to, you know, support your business, support your brand, you know, promote yourself, things of that nature. But you can't take none of that with you when you ascend. You can't take none of it with you when you when your physical body leaves this earth. So. Once again, we can't look for the outside validation so much. You have to learn how to stay tapped in with yourself and love yourself. Bro. That's why they say focus on yourself. Because a lot of people outside of you is going to try to destroy you. A lot of things outside of you will try to, will, will literally destroy you. Not even trying. It will destroy you. When you focus on yourself, you get a lot done. You get a lot of things done. You get a better, you know, fulfillment of life when you're truly focusing on yourself when you're focusing on your mental health and your physical health and your spiritual growth throughout life it 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 begins to feel better you don't need a big crowd around you to make you feel good about yourself you don't need anybody to make you feel good about yourself you need yourself to make you feel good right excuse me it's good to build relationships with people. It's good to, you know what I'm saying, have positive relationships with, you know, people. But you need that best relationship with yourself. You understand what I'm saying? We've gotten to the point where we start to love ourselves less and less and less if we don't get a, a certain amount of likes on Instagram or you may put out a YouTube video and you get some dislikes or just whatever, bro. And that's truly detrimental to your health. You may compare yourself to somebody else. You may go on somebody's, you know, Instagram profile or YouTube page or whatever and feel as if, nah, they're living a better life than me. But yet you don't know what that person is going through. Yet you don't know the journey that that person is going through, but automatically you're comparing yourself. You don't want to be in that stage. You don't You don't want to be there. You want to stay focused on your life, stay focused on the blessings that God has for you, bruh. You understand what I'm saying? You have a bigger purpose, but you can't compare yourself. You understand? Nobody should compare themselves to anyone. You're not better than anybody in this world and nobody is better than you. Everything that you're looking for is internal. It's, it's within yourself. That's why when you tell yourself, I love you, you feel that. You understand what I'm saying? When you do something good for somebody else, you feel that internally because you you everybody is a reflection of one another. You understand? Like everybody is a reflection, bro. Like, you're one of one. Nobody can be you, but we are all having a human experience in this world. So... You have to learn, you know what I'm saying? Treat people the way that you want to be treated. And um, stay one with yourself, bro. Don't get caught up in this world of being, you know, so wanted by other people. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to be caught up in that, in that web, in that stage, in that ego fulfillment. Be caught up in helping people. Be caught up in helping yourself out. But pay attention to what's going on. You feel me? Everything, like I said, starts internally. You know? The more that you work on yourself, the more that you take yourself serious, the more that you, you know, like I said, you love yourself, you accept yourself. There's really nothing else outside of you that needs to fulfill you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're always going to want more, bruh. You're always going to want more. If you have a YouTube channel and you put out some videos, you're going to want more subscribers. You're going to want more views. You're going to want more this, more that. 
Instagram, you're going to want more likes and comments and things of that nature. Facebook, you're going to want more notifications because you, you, you feel like you need it. You don't. Yeah, we got bills to pay. Yes, there's money to make in this world. But don't keep thinking that you need in this, you need in that, you need in this, you need in that. Go with the flow with life. Don't force anything. Go with the flow. If people want to support you, they're going to support you. If people don't want to support you, oh, well, bruh. Oh, well. You got to keep supporting you. You got to keep staying connected with yourself. You got to keep serving your purpose, bro. Everything is internal. Everything is up to you, bro. Don't live the life that other people want you to live. You live the life that you want to live, bro. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Everything is your fulfillment, bro. Everything. Nah, that might be okay. wrong. <laughs> but live life the way that... Live life to where you're truly happy with yourself, bro. And you're going to go through trials and tribulations in life. That's a part of life. You're going to go through ups and downs. That's a part of life. But live life to where you, you're just truly happy with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't never quit. Don't never give up. You know? Uh, don't think that there's not enough out there for you. Don't think in a lack mindset. You know what I'm saying? Think in a more positive mindset and... Stay focused, bro. Stay focused in this world. God has better plans for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But these times that we're living in right now, God is testing, you know, testing your faith. And testing to see how much, you know, faith you have in yourself, how much faith you have in the Most High God, and uh, testing your willpower, too. So I hope this message didn't go over a lot of people's heads. You know what I'm saying? I uh, hope you guys, you know, got something positive out of this message. Um... Life itself has just been, you know, teaching me a lot. And you always want to be uh, open to learning. You know what I'm saying? Open to receiving and never think that you're better than somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But uh, take the retention journey serious. Take your life serious. Take yourself serious. You know, just stay focused. You know what I'm saying? And um, don't let nobody stop you from shining your light. You know? If you guys enjoyed this video, though, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. I truly appreciate everybody for tuning in on these videos. I hope you guys gain something from what I'm telling you guys. You know? And um, it's your boy TC Talks.